I'm Suzanne Ridgway and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to declutter my cupboard underneath the countertop. It's been about a year since I've done it. I'm going to take out all the canned goods. I'm going to sift through all the dates, sift through all the things that we haven't used for donations, wipe it down, clean out the bins, and then reorganize it and put it all back. It sounds like a big job, but don't fret if you do it in zones. We will be fine. There's four sections, so there'll be four zones. Spending a few minutes with each zone and decluttering what you can along the way. If you're new, thank you so much for dropping by and checking me out. Thank you to everyone who supports me every day. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Don't forget, we have a giveaway coming up when we hit 900, and we're getting closer every day. We're about 20 away from 900, so I really appreciate that. And we're up in views again. Over 16,000 of you have enjoyed my videos in the past few days. That is huge, and I'm really appreciative of it. I'm going to be utilizing what's in my cupboards for the next few weeks to make pantry staple dinners from the meal plan that we did recently, using only what I have in my freezers, except for maybe one or two things that I have to buy at the supermarket, will be on my menu. And this way, cleaning up my cupboards, I won't think I'm out of it and go by. I'm going to take a few minutes later today and do an itemized list of what's in there like I do with my freezers so I have a master's list of what's available. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to smash on that subscribe board. Please tap on that bell because it helps you know when I upload a video and it helps me gain my views and it's very appreciated. And when we get to, to a thousand, we're going to issue out two $20 Dollar Tree gift cards. All the rules for all my giveaways are always in my description box down below, and you must be a U.S. resident to qualify for any giveaways. If you won in the past 60 days, you have to wait out 60 days to be able to win again. Those are my cupboards for my canned goods that you see. Here is the before. I'm going to pull everything out, including the can racks at the bottom that I purchased at Walmart.com. And I haven't been able to find the links for them. I bought them about a year or so ago. And they work really well and hold a lot of canned goods. We're going to take everything out of there. I'm going to wipe down the liners that you see. Those are from the Dollar Tree for shelves, cabinets, whatever you want to put it on. Make sure they're not completely stained or torn anywhere. I didn't stick them down when I did this last year. That's how well this cabinet... Uh, held up until now, a whole year. I am taking everything out of my cupboards and wiping everything down. Then we're going to go through all the dates of the canned goods, take a look at the canned goods, see what we're using and not using, wipe out the liner on the shelf, and get the cupboards organized and up to date. Then we're going to remove the can racks from the bottom shelf, one at a time, and go through all of those. Wipe it down in the bottom, take out what we're not using or don't need, sifting through the dates, getting a pile together for donations, and decluttering and organizing the area. I'm continuing wiping out all the containers that they hold, putting things back. I'm on to the left side now, doing the same thing. Wiping it out, sifting through all the canned goods, putting back what we use, what we need. Old estate first to get these cupboards in an organized fashion. Putting back and consolidating multiple cans that are open. Here is the after of the cupboard. Everything is organized in its place. Everything is wiped down and I consolidated multiple cans that were open into one can to get rid of the can that was taking up valuable real estate in my cabinet, making a clean line all the way down with the red baskets on either side on the top, using the clear skinny bins for multiple small can goods, and then the can rack which holds 32 cans each. And we wiped down the shelf liner, which is vinyl. Dollar Tree carries final shelf liners now, and they're really high-end looking and very nice. Again, applesauce is really 
great to have in your cabinets because if you're out of eggs, you can use it for an egg substitute when you bake. All my cream soups are on the right hand side. And all my vegetables and some of the fruit, we don't do a lot of canned fruit, just mandarin oranges, are on the left hand side. And I can fit more tuna in that bin. And this bin is full of peanut butter and condensed milk. This is my menu planning board, those of you who are new. And we switch things around a little bit. We are going to have the pork loin tonight and move the heat and eat to next week, which is a Thursday. We usually have pizzas on Friday nights. And we're flip-flopping this around. We're going to have stew tomorrow. And I have a kielbasa. We'll be having that the following week. I'm doing a whole chicken on Sunday. I have a couple of them in my freezer. And then I'm going to make soup the next day. And we haven't had our pork ribs in quite a while. Maybe a week or two since the last time we did pork ribs. And I'm going to do my crock pot pork ribs this time, not the oven one. And then we like to do spaghetti on Wednesday nights. That's our Italian night. And the Sundays we do some kind of a chicken or a roast. And we're going to do boneless, skinless chicken breast, which I have in my freezer. Then all the leftovers is going to make a chicken casserole. And this is why I did my cupboards so I know what canned goods I have available that I can use to reduce my spending. I have a few extra canned goods over here. That is my overstock. Extra tuna and some diced tomatoes. We don't normally use black beans, but I do keep them on hand for when I do some kind of a casserole with the free fried beans. These silver shelves are from Aldi. I don't think they sell them anymore. I haven't seen them in a long time. And I use the Dollar Tree bins to house multiple items to look less cluttery when you come into the kitchen. So there's not all kinds of advertisement. And it holds quite a bit. We keep our instant rices and pastas and soups in here. And I have some extra canned goods in here that are for my Dollar Tree dinners. Stuff that I have purchased at the Dollar Tree. Keep egg noodles in here. There's ketchup behind it that's unopened. Usually bread and paper goods here. I keep a lot of packets in this one. Hot cocoa, oatmeal. I gotta touch it up again. And things are getting spilled over. So I like to go through all my cupboards and shelves at least two to three times a month to keep them clean and nice looking. My last pantry shelf is next to the freezer in the common area of my apartment. I keep canned goods up at the top and then drinks. And down below, we're a family of four. We like Coca Cola, ginger ale. Juices, Yoohoo's, Gatorades. Looks like we're going to have to get some Yoohoo's. I know we need Nesquik's. Ginger ale's low. Juice boxes are sold out at our bulk store right now. On the side here, I have a hundred count of tea and my macaroni and cheeses. I don't use them just for macaroni and cheese. I make hamburger helpers out of them, casseroles, and all kinds of things, cheesy soups. And then here's some extra juice boxes. I'm glad I set them aside. So we're going to go ahead and put them right into there. Extra peanut butter and applesauces. This is my skinny shelf that I use for extra storage.